Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today we are looking at some of the best creations on the workshop once again. We're going to be taking a look at some newer creations and some ones that I didn't manage to get to in the previous video. And the first one that we're looking at is this guy right here. Now, this is the McLaren Senna 2.0 by Ocean Man, his greatest creation so far. So let's take a look at how this thing drives. It already just looks amazing just sitting there. Like if this didn't even move, it would still be an awesome creation. Look at those lights in the back. Oh, I think we got some lights in the front too here. Let's press L for light. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, this thing, this thing's huge by the way. Look how small my character is compared to the whole car. Looks like inside we got some uh, servo based turning in here as well as the wheels. So we have some assistance. So that's probably gonna actually help with like drifting and stuff. All right, let's see. What camera do we got? There we go. Orbit camera. Oh. Oh, how's it going to handle jumps? Ooh. Hey, its wheels are intact. Some of the panels came off, but the wheels are intact, and that's that's all we can really ask for. All right, I can hear inside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Listen carefully. I think there's some mini thrusters, and it gives it the sound of, like, turbo in the car. It's actually really cool sounding. And you can also see we have, like, an active aero spoiler for when we slow down. I wonder how much that actually helps us slow down, though. We slow down pretty fast before the spoiler even gets to full articulation, so I think it's more just an aesthetic thing than a functional thing. But I think using the servos for turning is super, super useful. It makes it so easy to just keep in any direction. Even if you're, like, you're starting to spin out, the servos can just correct you, no problem. So that's something to keep in mind for future car builds, for me at least, is um, using spinning servos to aid with turning. Like, look at that. That's amazing. That right there is amazing. Oh, why is my game frozen? What's going on? Oh, okay. Game decided not to work on me for a second. All right, we're probably not, our bumper's probably not going to make it up here. Yeah, our bumper collides with the thing. We don't have enough ground clearance. That's the thing with sports cars, no ground clearance. All right, we got a bunch of other buttons here, so let's go ahead and press some buttons and see what's gonna happen. I think H is horn. Okay, I'm not hearing anything. I don't know what H is doing. All right, number one. Oh, you can actually, you can adjust your mirror, but why? Such a random feature to have. <laughs> All right, I'll take it though, I'll take it. All right, let's see if this thing can go off that jump and I just wanna see this thing get destroyed. There are so many parts on it. I love the back of this thing, the way that those shield blocks are having those slats. Okay, here we go, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, look at that air. Ooh, I think some of our wing pieces, so like we actually glide a little bit. I don't know if there are wing pieces inside this thing, but I just realized Oh, we can do the loop for sure. But I realized we could probably do a 360 with this thing if we get enough air. Actually, right here, maybe. Oh, almost. That's the one benefit to having the... Another benefit to having the spinning servos in there. All right, I think this thing can definitely do the loop. Let's give it a try. And... There we go. No problem. No problem at all. Oh, boy. We are losing... Oh, we finally lost a wheel. But we're still going just fine. Look at that. This is a really fun car. I have another awesome sports car to look at later on in the video too. All right, we're gonna repair our wheel and then we're gonna do a 360 off of this jump right here. All right, and 360. <laughs> so easy, so easy. Oh, that's awesome. That is really fun right there. This is a super fun build. If you guys have trail makers, definitely download this build if you haven't already. It's It's been at the top of the workshop, so. All right, let's get on to some other builds. We can't spend all of our time just having fun with this awesome car. All right, let's go into flying territory now. This is something that I was going to look at in the last video, but ran out of time. So a real VTOL by DK. Oh, apparently it switches to airplane mode too. All right, this is going to be interesting. All right, check this thing out. We got kind of like a drone, not really a quadcopter, more of like a dicopter, I guess, or a duocopter, bicopter. Oh, okay, spaces to activate the engines. All right, check this out. This is doing good so far. I don't think we have any yaw. Yeah, it doesn't appear that we actually have any yaw, but supposedly there's an airplane mode. Oh, why is it shaking like that? All right, I'm gonna press Q for airplane mode. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. This is almost like a um an Osprey now. 
because of the way that they tilt forward like that. And we just have pitch and roll. And it totally works. I really like that. And then we press Q again. And we can go into our uh, hover or VTOL mode. Alright, what happens if I go upside down? Not as much destruction as I was hoping for, to be honest. <laughs> those things do a really good job at protecting the uh, the propellers. Oh, oh, okay. Those propellers are really resilient, apparently. I was expecting them to fall apart when coming in contact with the ground like that. Okay. Am I doing it right? Is this how it works? Is this how it's supposed to be working? Wait, where's the... Isn't there supposed to be a ramp right here? I'm confused. I could have sworn that there was a ramp going into the grinder on that side. Am I just... Am I mistaken? Is there really just a drop at the end of this grinder that I just... I, I'm, I am so confused right now. Is there a ramp over on the other side? I'm just driving... Yeah, the ramp's over there. Did I just not realize that this whole time? Unobservant scrap man, apparently. All right, up next, we're gonna take a look at this thing. This was uh, a pretty highly voted on the workshop in the last video. I don't know what that says. Looks like French or something. This is the White Dragon Mark II by Skitter145. I really don't know what to expect with this, so let's just spawn it in and see what happens. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see the wings open? Oh, that looks cool. This thing looks beautiful. Even the way that the thrusters are placed, like, that looks legit. Oh, the wings look awesome. And the the uh, the porthole on the back there is awesome. Man, those mini thrusters actually look really cool with the, just the blue glow. They're a good aesthetic piece on top of functional. Roll is gimbal controlled. I don't think I've seen gimbals used for actual, like, pitch and roll. And it looks like pitch is... Oh, the mini thrusters and the tail work together for pitch. There are some interesting control choices here. All right, I don't know how I'm supposed to get off the ground here, but I'm gonna try. Oh, here we go, here we go. Please don't, oh, there goes the wing. That was actually kind of cool. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Come on, get, get control, get control, dang it. All right, come on. There we go. Keep control. Keep it under control. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Woo. Woo. That porthole is an awesome idea, by the way. I really like the porthole as like a thrust containment thing. All right, it looks like maybe left and right arrow is supposed to be yaw. We do have a little bit of trouble with pitch. It's a very, very, very slow pitch, or at least pitching up is. But aesthetically, man, this, this is an awesome looking build. All right, we also have, oh yes, look at that. Look at this. Oh, that is fun. That is real fun. I like that a lot. This thing actually isn't too bad to control. Oh, as I crash into a pillar. I don't know if this is based on anything in like a movie or a video game or something, but it looks awesome and I really dig the aesthetic of it. All right, let's get on to another awesome build. Okay, up next, we're gonna look at <laughs> this. We're gonna look at this thing by Ao. There's a lot I'm not gonna understand about this one. <laughs> we're just gonna press the buttons and see what happens. I don't know if this is like a walker, if this is a transformer, if the, I don't, if this is a, oh, oh wow. The bullhorn is really, that, that, that adds some, what, what is going on? There's some crazy logic going on in here. What? Is that like a balance system? I have no idea what to go. Oh, there's a lot of buttons. All right, let's do WASD first. What? What? I can hear... I think I hear servos in there, like, balancing through, like, some logic function. And, like, you can see the, uh, the mini thrusters in the back are also helping to have it walk. This is crazy. Oh, and look at the pistons. There's so much going on in this. This is super impressive. All right, so that was just W. I haven't pressed anything else. All right, whatever is W and then A. I'm actually somehow walking to the left, and now I'm gonna try to- uh oh, I fell over. Now I'm gonna try to walk to the right. 
Okay, I don't really know exactly. Oh, okay. Okay, there's some servos on the top. You can see them on the top there, and that helps us with turning, apparently. I'm starting to understand how this works. What does left shift do? Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right, um, left control. Was I supposed to... I was probably supposed to do that first. That's probably why this thing isn't balanced. All right, now let's see how it walks. Oh, much better. Much better. And then if I turn to the left... So much better. All I had to do was actually close the cockpit, apparently. Oops, except I fell there. That is super cool, though. I like that a lot. Okay, Q and E. By the looks of it, Q and E activate forward and back thrust. You can see Q, I kind of go forward, and E, I kind of go back. So that might be like an auto-balancing type thing, but the effects seem not too strong. All right, then I have arrows. Oh. Oh, we could totally make him dance. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> All right, so it's a walker. I was wondering if it was going to be a transformer or a walker. Oh, we have to shoot our feet. Let's see. Oh, how far can we aim down? That's as far as we can aim down. Oh! Now it's a flyer. <laughs> wow. And my guns are gone. We're still balanced, though. That's awesome. Oh, that's fun. I want to do it again. <laughs> I love the blast back on these guns now. It is so strong. All right, that was an awesome build. Let's go ahead and take a look at something else. All right, to wrap it up, just like I said, we're going to be looking at another cool sports car. And this is the Lamborghini Terzo Millennio by Mexoff. Apparently, he won one of the Trailmakers weekly challenges. And if you guys didn't already know, in the Trailmakers Discord, they actually have weekly challenges for the community to participate in. All right, so let's see how this thing works. This thing has a massive build. It is taking so long just to load in. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay, there we go. Wow. Wow, just look at this thing. This is crazy. Oh, and like, look at the wings in there. Fitting everything in here and organizing things must have been a nightmare. Okay, what do we got going on here? Just WASD for vehicle controls. Okay. This is super interesting. Oh, yeah, we definitely have the help of some uh, spinning servos for turning. Oh, boy. Oh, we have no traction. We have no traction on dirt. These are not the right wheels for dirt. All right, we'll get onto the flat ground here and we'll see if we can do the uh, loop. Oh boy, this thing turns very sharp. Oh man, holy cow, this thing is fast. No problem though on that, uh-oh. Oh, oh, we're surviving. Oh, look at that drip. All right, we're gonna repair once we get over to the tarmac again. All right, there we go. Okay. This thing is super fast. How many engines? How many engines? Uh oh. That was an epic crash. How many engines does this thing have though? Like, can I get a look in here somewhere? Oh, it's just filled with engines. Oh yeah, this whole, look at all that. That thing is just filled with engines. Oh boy. Okay, all right, all right. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna go down the straightaway over here. I need to get off the dirt though. This thing does not handle well on the dirt, but it does handle pretty well on the road. Man, look at the design. There's so many design elements. You guys with your supercars, I think I actually called this one a hypercar. You guys with your hypercars and stuff. Will it make it up this though? I don't know. I might not, I don't think it'll have the ground clearance. Oh, kind of, it kind of made it. Okay, what's gonna happen now? All right, it survived. It didn't completely get demolished. <laughs> okay, can this thing pull off 360s like the McLaren did? And actually, can we do like... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh, uh oh too much. Not in the dirt. We don't want the dirt. Yeah, so this thing has the racing wheels. I think they're called the racing wheels. Or no, these are the drag racing wheels. As opposed to the other one had the, like, the off-road truck wheels. So it's an interesting contrast between the two... Uh, hypercars or supercars. All right, we all, oh, we are going so, f we're gonna get, we're gonna clear this whole thing probably. I'm still gonna try to pull off a 360 anyway. All right, here we go. Huh. Oh! Not quite as sharp on the turning there. Oh, that was easier with, after we lost all of our weight. Now this thing looks like a crazy futuristic truck. 
Look at that. Oh, and now it's dead. It's nothing anymore. All right, let's try to do that 360 again. Oh, nope, this one can't pull off a 360 on these jumps, unfortunately. Unless you shave off some weight. That one wasn't too bad. Oh, we did lose a wheel though. Oh, it's even got suspension too? I didn't realize. Yeah, I think there's an angled and a straight suspension. Yeah, check that out. So there's an angled suspension right there. And then there's a straight suspension and they kind of meet at a point. So that's an interesting kind of suspension concept. I like that. So I guess that's one major benefit to uh, looking at other people's creations on the workshop is you get to learn from them and uh, get some inspiration on what you can do to improve your own builds. Because yeah, I really like that suspension setup. I might use that for future things if a single suspension isn't enough. Oh yeah, look at, there we go. Oh yes. Destruction. Destruction and drowning. Okay, the drowning isn't is fun, but the destruction is. So which one of these builds that you saw in this video was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments and uh, let me know what you want to see in future Trailmakers episodes. If you enjoyed this workshop best builds episode, then go ahead and click on the end screen right here to see more of the awesome stuff the Trailmakers community has built. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.